Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given that for the signal x of t, the Fourier transform is equal to x of f. So here, we have been asked to find the inverse Fourier transform of x of 3f plus 2. Now if you are aware about the scaling property, then according to the scaling property, if x of f is the Fourier transform of the signal x of t, then for the signal x of a t, the Fourier transform can be given by this expression. So here let us assume that this a is equal to 1 by 3. That means in that case, the Fourier transform of the signal x of t divided by 3 will be equal to 1 divided by 1 by 3 times x of f divided by 1 by 3. Or we can say that the Fourier transform is equal to 3 times x of 3f or we can say that the Fourier transform of 1 by 3 times x of t by 3 is equal to x of 3f right similarly here we can also use the frequency shifting property so according to the frequency shifting property if x of f is the Fourier transform of the signal x of t then for the signal x of t times e to the power minus j times 2 pi f naught t, the Fourier transform will be equal to x of f plus f0. Or in other words, we can say that for the x of f plus f0, the inverse Fourier transform is equal to x of t times this exponential. So in this case, we have been asked to find the inverse Fourier transform of 3f plus 2. Or in other words, we can say that we have been asked to find the inverse Fourier transform of x of 3 times f plus 2 by 3. That means here this 3 is the scaling factor. And with this scaling factor, here the frequency is shifted by the 2 by 3. So here we have already seen that for the x of 3f, this inverse Fourier transform is equal to 1 by 3 times x of t by 3. But with this scaling factor, if the frequency is shifted by this 2 by 3, then its inverse Fourier transform will be equal to 1 by 3 times x of t by 3 times e to the power this frequency that is equal to e to the power minus j times 2 pi times 2 by 3 times t. That means here instead of f naught there is a 2 by 3. That means we can say that the inverse Fourier transform of this x of 3f plus 2 is equal to 1 by 3 times x of t by 3 times e to the power minus j times 4 by 3 times t. And from this we can say that for the given question this b is the correct answer.